Betty Burns there at uh, Pigs and Peaches on the Anything But contest Friday night. We, uh, our first uh, entry, we had a uh, peach with blue cheese wrapped with bacon in it. Uh, the uh, second one is iron skillet with uh, scallops, seafood medley with bacon. We had a actually a cinnamon roll with bacon intertwined in the uh, between the levels with bacon on top and a little ice cream sorbet on the, the uh, top of it. Uh, the fourth entry, we had a chicken with a jalapeno in the middle of it wrapped in the bacon. Uh, um, my favorite, I tell you, I wanted to go with the cinnamon roll with the bacon. It just was the one that's not there anymore. The one that's not there anymore. <laughs> it was really, really good. I mean, the texture was off the chain, and there was enough bacon to offset the sweetness on it. I mean, it was it was good. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I'm just going to echo everything that he said about the entries. Well, they were all outstanding, all unusual, and I have to say the cinnamon roll was my favorite too. Uh, we're at the Ben Robertson Community Center, and uh, we had some pretty good food here tonight, and I hope you all do good. Here at Pigs and Peaches, uh, this was the ancillary with bacon tonight. All four was very good dishes. Um, the one with the scallop with the bacon wrap was probably the most excellent entry that was given to us. Very unusual was a cinnamon roll wrapped with bacon all throughout. So all everything was good and, and kudos to all the cooks. Hi, my name is Greg Pruitt. We're at Kennesaw's Pig and Peaches and Judge and Dessert. Uh, had four entries. Uh, the first one was a peach parfait, more or less, and actually it was my favorite. Um, the second one with the peaches I thought was a little over. I'm not sure what it was over, but it was over. Uh, the other two were great entries, but just number one was my favorite. Hi, I'm Georgia Lenahan at the Pigs and Peaches, and we had four entries. Number one was just your normal run-of-the-mill parfait. Tasted it. It tastes just like a bunch of whipped cream with some peaches in there with some crumbly. It was very amateurish. Number two was exquisite. It was a delight. The, uh, it was made with different kinds of, of, um, of cream, and in the top, the peach had a, a fresh flavor of peaches with a little hint of almond in it, and it, it, was, it was very well made. The number three was a pile of um, cake dough with some uh, peach thrown in there. It was what we called on the day a dumb cake. Um, and then number four was just a bunch of sugar, crunchy sugar with a little bit of uh, nectarine on the side. So it was as if I was just eating um, brown sugar with a little something in the middle. So I thought these two, the three and four were very poor entries. I'm Ken Fluker. I'm at Pigs, Pigs and Peaches in Kennesaw, Georgia. And uh, the first two entries were great. Uh, and the last two, the last two, uh, I just. They're still here. Yeah. The last two didn't really impress me. Hey, um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Ivan Diaz, and uh, so what I have here is the first two were some uh, parfaits. My favorite one was uh, the first one. It had the right balance of, uh, you know, sweet and not too sweet. The second one was a little too sweet for me. The third one was a... Um, um, what do you call this? A, K, um, cobbler, I a cobbler. Yes. So the uh, the cobbler was good, but it was a little too messy and mushy. Uh, the third one, uh, I think they tried to do some uh, pralines and um, on top of some um, cheesecake, I believe. 
and it was good but not as good as my favorite one the first one everything we had was good the second one was a little sweet but it, all the others were wonderful Judge outside the you can. That's up to you. Would have, should have. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my favorites were uh, probably number four was number first. It was juicy, had a good pra uh, flavor profile to it, and it had a nice back heat to it. Uh, number two would have been the second one. Number two, uh, same thing. It was juicy, uh, had a good flavor to it, a little bit of heat. Um, the other three were just okay. Uh, four, the fifth one right here was juicy, but the flavor on it was kind of lacking. It had no smoke flavor to it, and the first one was a little dry, and the flavor on it was just a little bit bitter. I really liked the tenderness in number five. Uh, number four was the juiciest piece of chicken I've ever touched. It was just <laughs> dripping out butter and goodness when I bit into it. I believe number four was probably the most tender and, and juicy. Um, number two also was a pretty good piece of meat. It had a good taste to it and um, pretty good tender. Uh, all in all, each one were pretty good. Number one probably need a little bit more to work on it, but all in all, good meat. Uh, I'm going to be completely different and say uh, number four was phenomenal, <laughs> just like everybody else. It was uh, very juicy, uh, incredible taste. Um, number two probably would have been uh, my second favorite was right there. Uh, three was something different, just didn't quite uh, care for the mixture of spices on that one. But uh, all in all, the phenomenal job. Yeah, I guess uh, like I said pick number four is the best. Number uh, number five wasn't bad. Number two was pretty good. It was kind of sweet, but it was very tender. And very moist. Number three had a strange seasoning on it that that I, I can't quite place. Overall, a uh, very good um, presentation of meat here in front of us. Number five would have to be my favorite. Number two comes in at a very high second. It was all it was a very juicy piece of meat and very wonderfully tasting. The rest, however, did a good job, and we just appreciate their their entries in this competition. Thank you so much. Christopher, get up here and get me some, some kale, please. Get me some kale out of the bottom drawer.
getting it. Yeah. I prefer number three the, the best. It had a real good flavor, yeah. mix of sweetness. The one that's not there. The one that's not there that I ate all of. <laughs> had a good mix of sweetness and also a little kick at the end of it. Uh, the one that I did not like, the, the, the one I liked the least was number one. Uh, it was a bit tough and a little overcooked on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, very similar comments, all in all a good showing. Um, similar comments for number one, uh, there was no sauce on the bottom, it was burned, and the membrane was still attached, making it uh, rather unpleasant. Uh, and number three, I think, had the best flavor, but it was overcooked, and so when you took a bite, it uh, completely cleaned the bone. But all in all, a good showing for ribs today. Well, I'm the odd man out, <laughs> because I liked number one. I just tasted it from the top, and it had the just right flavor and the right texture for me. <clears throat> I didn't eat all the way through the bottom to see that the uh, membrane was, was still on there. The number two was um, kind of dry, but it was it was it was good. Number three was a good taste. I thought it a little bit too sweet and um, overdone. And then the other two, I you know, they were too dry and the flavor was really hot. Like many others, I uh, chose number three as my overall favorite. To me, it had a good balance of flavors. Uh, the sweet played off the heat, uh, not overpowering, uh, slightly overcooked, I agree. Uh, the others, um, it would have been nice if number five was at least warm, because uh, that impacts flavor. I agree that number one was um, the toughest and they had left the membrane on so it was hard to bite. Number three was excellent flavor but overcooked and the other three were kind of average. Number one was um, undercooked and no flavor. Number two was cooked well, good flavor. Number three was actually really good. It had good flavor, perfectly cooked. Uh, number four was just average. And then number five was just a little tough and average on the flavor. The first and fourth, fifth entry were very bland. The second and fourth entry were unusually good for pork. And number three on my plate was incredibly salty. You know, he verbatim says exactly what I said. <laughs> That's weird. 100% of everything you said. And number one didn't have a lot of flavoring. It was just kind of pork flavor, and that's about it, which isn't necessarily bad, but I would have liked to see a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat on that. Uh, number two had nice sauce on it. Number three was overdone, overcooked. Hard to get much flavor or moisture out of it at all. Um, the four was all right. Had a good layer of bark and uh, five was uh, not much to say about it sorry right. um, they were all pretty good I thought this one was a little overcooked number four was a little overcooked and number three was was nice and tender but my favorite was number six I like number six it was Moist and tender, and, and probably the best one of the choice. Okay. I'd have to agree. Um, for the most part, particularly with number six, that was also uh, my favorite as well. Uh, I had a good flavor, uh, moist, and good texture is right on. Number four, yes, was uh, a little bit overcooked. Medallion was uh, somewhat mushy. Uh, number two. Uh, was dry. It looked dry to me, and it tasted uh, rather dry. 
little bit of dryness in number one and a little bit in number three um, as well. Number four was an interesting submission. We don't usually see someone that essentially put all of their uh, hopes on one small item, yes. which is, but that's not, you know, that's fine uh, as a submission. That wasn't a factor. And actually, it was uh, rather tasty as well. Number one, dry. Two was dry, but my medallion had a very, very bad taste to it for some some reason. I don't know what it was, but it was just not good. Uh, number three was kind of dry, had a little bit of flavor though. I kind of liked the flavor on it. Number four was very mushy, uh, good flavor. Number five, uh, the the medallion, kind of just a little tough, but I like the flavor on it also. Number six, good flavor, but uh, when I got to the pork, pork portion, portion of it, it was just all, all fat. <coughs> they didn't pull the fat off of it, it was pure fat, so that's about it. We're back backyard, this is pretty good pork. Uh, number one, unfortunately it was cold, and to me it's as hard to pick up the flavor to it. Uh, second entry, very tender, but again, the meat was dry. Uh, third entry <clears throat> had a very mild taste, but ended up being chewy. Uh, fourth entry I felt was very flavorful, but again, a kind of a mushy uh, taste to it. Number five was a total dry piece of uh, meat. And number six, I felt was my overall favorite, was very flavorful and tender. Thank you all very much. decorative pig my husband bought me, not a tool. I can't make up my mind. On Are what? You? Oh. Burn in. Alright, well, it's your call. You want me to have one? 
but get going so this just isn't getting dried. So. This one, yeah. Just one way or another. One way I would. or you another. Would? Get you, get you. Now these back sides were fatty. I mean, I'm sure it's rendered. Whatever more now, I did, then I would. That's a go. I'd go from the front because I thought they, the insides looked better. Who, who did I say is a pit boss? The godmother here. For this game. <laughs> I have. I don't have skin in the game. You're right. Hey, girl. We're on our last turn in. Yep. Uh, no, one more. Oh, shit. I just... No, I just... I'm going to walk all the way from Cheeseburger Bobby's place. I'm going to walk all the way from BB&T. Are you getting one more? Oh, yes. God. That's right. Well, it's, he's turning all the way from BB&T. What do you want? Right there. Let me put it in. Let me put it in because it's got like something on it. Overall today, I think the brisket category was a little average. Uh, my favorite uh, was number four. Had a good smoky flavor to it. Number five was my least favorite. It was a little bit on the dry side. Um, overall, everybody had a beautiful presentation. Um, I centered also around number four. It um, definitely had was the most tender and tasty of all of them. Um, I guess I'd f find my least favorite to be um, number three, which was was kind of a uh, I think it might have been the piece I got, but it was it was a little bit too, on the dry side for me. I think the presentation on all of them was really good. Uh, my favorite was um, number four, uh, and my least favorite was number five. I thought it was a little tough. Um, I also thought the presentation was good. I liked um, number two and number four, but I thought number four was just a little bit better. It had a little bit better uh, smoke flavor, and number five was my least favorite. It was just a little too tough. My two favorites were number four and number two. Number two, they should have left the burn end out because that pulled the score down. The actual number two uh, main sample was real good. Number five was very, very dry. Um, overall, the appearance of um, all the entries were very, very good, both with and without burnt ends. Very pretty boxes. Uh, my favorite was number four. I think it had a true beef flavor came through, nice touch of smoke, everything was perfectly balanced, and the texture was um, perfect. Um, my least favorite was the last one, number five. It was very dry, it failed the KCBS pull test, um, so really tough to, uh, to the bite. And then um, there was a saltiness to it, or some flavor that really dominated um, all of the beef flavor that it should have had. Mm -hmm.